Hi, in this video, we are going to use the bevel deformer to change the topology of our object so that we can create this cylindrical detail. So I'll go ahead and start a new scene. So I'll go to File, New, and create a tube. I'll increase the inner radius to 190. And let's change the shading mode to garage shading. In the rotation segment to 72 will be fine. And let's do the height 6. So now we get even um, polygons. So it's as simple as that we come to deformers and we add bevel deformer. We make it a child of the tube and come to the component mode. Instead of edge, we change it to point. Now we come to the off offset mode and put it proportional and make it 50%. And instantly it changes the topology of our, our cylinder. It's quite simple as that. So now we can simply go ahead and right click um, current state to object. And now we have editable version of our object. Now you can see there's some green elements in it, which shows there's quite a lot of points at the same place and angles and stuff. So we go to point mode, right click and choose um, optimize. You can actually hit UO as a shortcut to do it. So now our polygon is clean. So now you can simply use um, UL uh, selection tools to select. So I'll come here and use the phone selection, come to polygon and actually come and select the phone selection here or UN to select it. So with UN you select it and now you select these faces, set selection and you can now come in simply and add oh, um, you can now simply come in and add more extrude to the whole polygons, but we will limit it come to object and limit it to just this polygon selection. And now we can reduce the steps to one and come to the transformation. Maybe for this one or um, point four rather um, point point four. And now we are basically halfway through our come here. So I'll hide this and now bring back this one again. So this was quite fairly easy because with the two objects, the caps, this part, the caps is separate from the body of, of the, uh, the tube. So it means there are two points sitting at this place. So if I should come here and make it editable, and copy it and make one editable. Press C. Now come to polygon and choose like one of the faces and move it up. Let me use this one. Select one of the faces and move it up. You can see now there is space in between here. So it tells you that like they are separate faces. So when I apply the extrude, uh, the bevel, it basically wasn't affecting like the thing as one so it was doing separate things so it means points are sitting here so basically that's how come it was quite easy but if it were to be one point let's see what happens so i'll take off the bevel and now right click come to point mode right click and optimize so now it will weld the points that are at the same place together and i'll choose okay all the points are the same place together and now let me add the bevel and you can see what happens now it begins to bevel the edges of the um, the shape or the cylinder. So, but we don't want it that way. So here I have the same tube created, but this time it's editable and all the points and faces are connected together. So I have it selected, come to bevel and hold shift to make it a child and change to point and proportional and make it 50%. Now we are back to where we left off see it's affecting the edges and we want we, we want to affect only the faces so what we do is i want to check it come to tube and hit un make sure polygon mode and now we have the form selection uh, tool so we select the form to uh, selection now we select all the outer parts when you hold shift to click on the point mode now you select all the outer points and i'll go um set selection now enable the bevel deformer and now I'll add the selection to the selection point and now you can see it's affecting only the outer part 
but still it's affecting the edges so how do we work around that so i'll disable it again and this time i'll come to u l for loop selection come to polygon mode select here and i'll actually take it and select the down part as well now straight away you selected the two and now hit wi for inner extrude which you can right click and get it in here and extrude inner um let's actually put it here point zero one and they'll set and now let's see what happens if we enable our bevel deformer you can see straight away it gives us the this thing without affecting um, the edges so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, right click and make it a current state to object so I can hide this one and now it's created an uh, extra copy for us so I'll right click go to point mode right click and I'll say optimize and instantly everything is optimized so all we have to do is to go use the ul loop selection again make sure polygon mode and now can just move it up scale it up and you can see it gives us smooth edges and the topology is very good so that's a way way around it so now you can go ahead and use the font so un to select the the for uh, outside part and set selection can go come in to the more graph use more extrude make it a child and object selection polygon selection now you can actually make it one come to the transform make let's say four by four and we are basically at the same point with the same thing with the more extrude so four by four and maybe we can reduce the position in z to like three or yeah i think three will be fine let's change the form so now three and to give it that smooth we also use the bevel once again so i'll bring in the bevel i'll actually come in here and change it to use use angle and now um the, reduce the offset to point three will be fine and now i'll make it a child i'll make sure it comes before the more extrude so i'll make it a child and increase the subdivision to i think two um one will be fine so basically we've created the same thing using the bevel deformer and the more extrude so now i'll go back to our normal shading you can see what we have it's quite simple right and it's fun playing around with these tools so see you in the next one